Hi guys, so today I've got this little Frigidaire mini fridge. Uh, this belonged to uh, some family members and they said one day it just stopped cooling and uh, they've already replaced it. They were just gonna get rid of it. So of course me being me, I wanted to figure out what was going on with it and see if I could fix it. So you can see I've got just a thermometer in there and it's sitting almost 70 degrees in there. Um, you can see up here, the thermostat is on. Of course, I don't have it plugged in. Um, but let's take a look at what we got. Now, because this was plugged in at my family's house, I know that it's not, it doesn't have a direct short. It wasn't blowing fuses or anything. But if you're, you have a, a unit that you're not sure the history of, you want to just check just to make sure there's no straight shorts to ground or anything like that. So I've got my meter here and I've just got it set on continuity check. And then I've got the plug and I'm just going to touch. This is your, the ground wire for this plug. So I'm going to touch one terminal to that and the other. I'm just going to make sure that that for sure is grounded. Uh, you can see some green wires in here. And so I've got continuity to ground and that's good. But what you don't want is you don't want continuity from either of these pins on the plug to ground. So that's all we're gonna check for here. So going from one pin to ground, no beep. Other pin to ground, no beep. So we're good. Um, the other thing to note is if you do continuity between the two flat terminals, um, we've got continuity. If you were to go in and turn the thermostat switch inside the refrigerator all the way off, you'd lose continuity here. That's a way that you could test the switch, the thermostat switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and see what happens. And now these compressor motors are really quiet. Um, I can hear a slight hum and I can feel, but I just heard a click. And so the compressor tried to start up, but it couldn't. And there's a device called an overload, which will disable the, basically open the circuit, just so the compressor doesn't start to run, if it gets too hot. What happens is that overload, the, it's got a little metal disc in it, that once it cools down, it'll make contact again, and you, I just heard it click again, and so the compressor's trying to start. And there's the click, and the compressor's off again. So it looks like we're cycling through this. The overload circuit keeps getting tripped, and it's gonna continue to do this probably um, forever. So this is just, um, you can see these compressor motors, they say thermally protected. And so that's what this is. It's just a thermal protection to keep the compressor from burning up. So it's not working for us. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and dig in a little deeper. All right, so I've got it unplugged. Uh, you definitely want it unplugged because underneath this box, you're going to have mains voltage. So this one, it's got a little plastic cover. Uh, there's this little metal clip here. You just need a flat pry tool to pry, the, pry this clip out. Whoa. And you pull that out. And then this cover will just slide off. See if we can get around here a little better. So we've got this big thick wire bundle coming up. And we've got a white wire and a black wire. The white wire goes to one side of this little round device back here. That's our overload. It's got that little heat sensitive metal plate in it. Um, and then through that, the black wire will come out and it connects right to the top of our compressor plug here. Now the black wire coming out of this bundle goes to this little black device here and that's our start relay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pry this off. And 
I can already hear an issue. So this little relay, it just has one wire going into it. And on this back side, you can see it just plugs on to the bottom two pins of the compressor connector. So these relays, if you shake them and they make noise, they're bad. Yep, that's not good. So lucky for me, Amazon to the rescue. So I've got a replacement here. So, the bad one, you can see it's a 4.7, and that's a 4.7 ohm. Um, this is just a replacement. I'll post a link to this down in the description, so you can get your own. Um, but we're just going to hook the single wire up to it, and then plug it back on the bottom two connectors of the compressor. And just so I don't risk any shock, I'm going to put this back on and snap the clip back on. And now I'm going to plug it back in and see what happens. actually hear the compressor humming now so it started up it's running and eventually I'll start feeling your inlet line and outlet line one side will be cold one side will be hot so I'm gonna let this run for a couple minutes uh, about 15 30 minutes and we'll come back and see how it's doing all right so it's been about 30 or 45 minutes um and you can tell it's definitely cooled off it's now under 60 degrees um i did notice i had the thermostat turned all the way to the warmest setting so i just turned it almost to the coldest setting now so this should start cooling down a lot quicker So that's it for this one, guys. Uh, quick, cheap, easy fix. Uh, give this refrigerator a little more life. If you like what I do, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, hit the subscribe button to catch any of my upcoming stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.